Hi. Feels silly saying this now, but obviously there's new people coming on, hopefully all the time. So my name's Helen. This is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're returning, big, big thank you. And um, if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. And I should say this at the beginning, if you haven't liked or subscribed and um, dinged the notification bell to let you know when I do a new video, I'd be really, really grateful if you do that. Um, because as you will hear, all YouTubers say, um, it helps with the whole kind of analytics thing. The more subscribers you have and the more likes your videos get and stuff like that. I don't really understand it. I'm not going to pretend I do, but I know that it's important for the way that the channel is um, kind of how, how it goes in the algorithms. Don't know what that means, but I guess it's like the measures and the way that the computers decide to do things. Anyway, enough of all that technical blurb. I don't get it, but I, you know, I'm just really happy with the way the channel's going and for all your lovely comments. And um, I didn't, I don't think I said it in my holiday roundup video, but um, I obviously didn't have time to answer all of the comments that came through on the vlogs that I did while I was away. But I have read every single one, I promise you, and I have liked every single one. And um, I have now started answering again, and I will continue to do that whilst I can, while it's um, physically possible to do that. I will do that because it's my way of saying thank you for you taking the time to watch and to comment. So thank you. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to commit to doing a live. So I'm going to go live on Tuesday next week. Um, what's the date of Tuesday next week? Let me check so I get that right. Oh gosh, my, my calendar's in uh, 2024 because that's my next dental appointment. Good Lord. Um, so that's the 2nd of May. So Tuesday the 2nd of May at 8.30, I will go live. And um, so anybody that wants to come on and have a chat, Really enjoyed the last one, so hopefully this one will go well. You can ask me anything. I, I, I you know, I can't promise to answer everything, but I will do my level best, and um, I really look forward to it. So it's lucky I had thought I might do one uh, yesterday. This is Friday. I'm not sure when I'll load this video. Probably tomorrow. I've got such a busy weekend, which I'll tell you about. Um, because the jet lag has really killed me. Rob, Rob's been laughing. He hasn't had any jet lag. Isn't he lucky? Um, but I've been terrible. I have literally, he said, I'm literally watching the TV. And I'm just like, oh, fast asleep. And I mean, sparko asleep. I never do that in kind of real life. Um, so it's been, yeah, it's been horrible. I wake up and I'm like, oh, I gotta go to bed. I kind of stagger up the stairs and then I'm waking up at at the latest 5 a.m. Trying hard, you know, got my eye mask on and everything. Anyway, boring, boring. I feel much better today. I would say today is the first day that I don't feel like I'm kind of walking through treacle, which is just as well because I've got a house full of visitors at the weekend. Um, I missed our daughter's 40th birthday while we were away, which was the hard, you know... Uh, thing to do but I mean she lives she doesn't live locally so it's probably we wouldn't have seen her anyway but just felt a bit weird because it's a milestone birthday but she insisted that we go away so it was her birthday in April it was Katie's birthday on Wednesday it was Billy's birthday while we were away as well which he he was quite upset about so the whole family's getting together. Apart from my daughter-in-law she had something else on this weekend but um, my son and his baby boy well he's two now but he's still the baby and everyone else and my mum's coming over and my sister's coming so it's a really really busy weekend so straight after I've done this video I will be going shopping and um hopefully buy everything I need for the weekend so um crazy crazy I can't remember what I said in the last video about Cunard but they have been in touch and they are looking at the situation and they're going to come back to me so I'll keep you posted on that. I mean, it's no skin off my nose what they do now. Um, 
I just want to be able to tell you how they address the issues that I raised with them. So, you know, they, they didn't deal with it appropriately, in my opinion, at, at, on the cruise. So it'd be interesting to see if there's any reparation retrospectively. That's a lot of big words in here for, for me at the moment. So um, this is my M&S jumper I got in the sale. I love it. Um, I'm, I, yeah, it won't change me because I can't help who I am. I just, bleh, you know, it what comes out. It's not very thought about, to be honest. But when I saw the article online in the sun online about my video and um, the things I'd said, it did kind of make me laugh when I said, uh, oh, this jumper's long enough to cover my belly and my black knickers, you know, because I was wearing white linen trousers and I just put them on over my regular black pants that I had on. So that kind of made, you know, when you see it in print, it's a bit of a shocker, really, and how scathing I'd been about the fabric. But you know what? That was still justified and I was in Mark's on Tuesday I think it was and I walked past a dress and this is no word of a lie I was on my own and there was this dress and it looked so pretty and it was kind of floral uh, white with kind of green and blue kind of flowers on it and I walked over and I touched the fabric and I said out loud on my own oh my good god it was the nastiest flipping polyester what are they thinking? I think they've lost the plot. Who wants a summer dress made out of polyester? Not me. Anyway, I'll shut up before they... Well, they can't sue me, can they? No, because it's just my opinion. Oops. Fingers crossed. Anyway, um, so I've told you about the live, told you about Mark's, um, and I've got a few bits to try on today. No idea. I haven't hung them up even, so um, we'll see what they look like. And um, I'll crack on with that. Uh, oh, just really quickly. So I had a click and collect order from Tesco. I ordered it and paid for it and Rob went and got it and put it away. And then it was only yesterday when I went to get out the minced beef for dinner. I thought, oh, I'll do, yeah, I'll do a bolognese or something. And there was no minced beef. And I said, where have you put the minced beef? You know, immediately. What's he done with it? And uh, he said, there wasn't any minced beef. I said, there was minced beef, Rob. I've got the receipt. I said, where are the chicken thighs? There was no chicken thighs. Somehow, I don't even know how, there was about 10 or 12 items from my shopping hadn't been put in the order. Now, this is the difference, good customer service. So I called up and I said, look, I know this is really weird because, you know, the shopping was collected on Monday, but I haven't looked at it yet. And um, it wasn't there. So they said, oh, that's fine. We'll refund you what, what items. So I went through put the phone down and then I said to Rob, was the cheese there? And he said, no. And there was something else, no. I was like, oh, if it'd been maybe a couple of quid, I might have left it, but it was about another six or seven pounds. So I rang up again and I said, look, I'm really sorry, just had this phone call, but um, there's still these things missing. And now this chap, he said, oh, that's terrible. I'm so sorry about that. You shouldn't have had to experience that. How annoying for you. I'll refund both of those. I'll refund, refund the click and collect charge and I'll give you a £10 goodwill voucher. Now, that is good customer service because, I mean, it is annoying, but mistakes happen. But it's how they dealt with it. So, zip it, Helen. Get on with the haul. Haul in my haul. First one post-cruise. I made a photo book yesterday before I forgot everything that we'd done. Um, of the holiday so um, that's kind of done and dusted now I mean because there's lots of questions about it it's not a problem but um, I won't do any more kind of dedicated videos about it I'm sure you're sick to the back teeth of it so I will go and um, get the things out a couple of dresses a couple of tops and a pair of sandals I think um, and show you those thanks I do love a stripe uh, I think I'm just I like stripes, I love stripes and polka dots. So this is the first top, it's uh, 29.50 and it's a mix of viscose and polyamide. Um, it's a bit too clingtastic for me. Um, I mean, um, I had to rearrange my boobs in my bra because it was a bit nip-tastic. Um, 
So, and I had hoped to try it on with these, but I can't get them on. Um, they look like such a nice, comfortable sandal. But there's no elastic in the strap. It's a bit weird, isn't it? I thought all sling bags had to have a bit of elastic in. So with my high instep and the lack of elastic here, and I'm certainly not going to be doing that strap up every time I put them on. So they're nice enough and they might be good on you if you haven't got a high instep. They were £55 and they are leather. These are a size six standard fit, and uh, but they're no good for me, unfortunately. So I'll show you this. I've got um, this top on. It's white with a black stripe. But as I say, it's very clingy. Um, and I've got it on with a pair of my first non-straight pair of jeans that I've had for a long, long time. Um, and these are boot cut. And I got these in the next sale, of course. So, um, it's a bit like, it doesn't quite, it doesn't cover my tummy. Um, and I'd want it to It'd be all right with the skirt. But as I say, it's just a bit too clingy for me. Uh, nice enough. And if you like a fitted top, then this is perfect. Not a bad price, really. Uh, 29.50. So it looks very fresh and clean, doesn't it? Especially with a bit of a tan. So um, that's not top number one. Sorry, I can't try the shoes on for you. But um, I think they're still in stock. And I think they came in two colours. So... Um, that's number one. Oh, I've got, I think I've got four tops and two dresses, four or five tops and two dresses. Another striped top. I really like this one. This is like the one I tried on, that I tried on in cream. It's actually the one that's in the sun video. And apparently I described it as a grown up top. I mean, when I see what I've said in words, I honestly don't remember what I've said because obviously it's plain to see I don't rehearse anything. But this is 100% cotton. And this was 29.50 as well. And I love this neck. When I was young, that was that was the neck on all the tops. And um, it's got this white down the side and it's a better length for me on. I mean, I think that looks really smart. Um, yeah, and cause it's kind of, it's quite heavy. So, you know, a lot of the days in this country in summer, it's, it's, it's quite, can be quite chilly even on a summer's day, but I think this is a great spring piece. It's a bit weird. I was going to say it'd be nice for Easter, but of course I've missed Easter, which is kind of strange. Um, not, yeah, I'll look in the video. I don't know if that's a bit all that jazz, but uh, I like it. I like it a lot. So 29.50, pure cotton. Um, and I'm not sure if it comes in other colours, but this is black and white rather than, than blue. So, yeah, that's number two. So this one is navy blue, pure cotton, 29.50, uh, round neck blouse. I will say straight away that the sleeves are quite tight, even when they're down on that part of my elbow. I mean, I think... I think you'd kind of be okay with it. And I think it's a very flattering neckline. And it does up at the back. I thought I'd done it up, but I obviously hadn't. Hang on, I'll do it up. Um, I think this would look really lovely with um, white linen trousers or white jeans. Yeah. So it's a fairly good length. I think... Um, lovely and cool and you could kind of dress this right up actually and I have to say being where we've just been you know where it was very hot um, this this kind of thing would have been perfect although the dark colour in the sun would have would have kind of attracted the, the sun but um, a very useful top I think nice and you know it just sort of skims over any lumps and bumps and it's a decent length too just just kind of to the top of just over the top of my legs i'm five foot six these are all size 18 by the way or um yeah they're all 18s so they're not larges and stuff these are these are actual sizes so I, that's a nice top i can see that you know with the long chain or you know long pearls or whatever those lariats that i've been trying on 
that I was on the cruise would look nice with this. So you could dress it right up or you could wear it very, very casually just with a pair of white shorts. So I'm quite taken with that. I really have to, I mean, honestly, I can't put my clothes away. I've got to have a great big reorganisation, which I just haven't had the energy to do this week. So I've got to be really, really, really selective on anything I buy now. I mean, I'll show you guys. I don't have any problem showing you and taking it back. Um, but for myself personally, I've, I've got to really only buy something if I really love it or if I've got a reason to buy it, you know, a do or something. But uh, yeah, I think that's nice. It's not elastic, by the way. That's um, kind of stitched in, gathered. And it doesn't, no, it's not on a drawstring or anything. It's literally a stitched in top. So and I think that will iron up lovely, you know. So that's number three. So this is the same top, but in um, this rather lovely print. I've just seen that, I've just seen. See that? I think that's, um, I, think that's a mis I think that's a print thing gone wrong. I thought it was a bit of fluff or something, but it's actually on the top. Um, but, you know, I think this is really lovely for a holiday. You know, this with kind of white linen pants or shorts looks so, um, well, it takes me straight back to the beach um, from holiday. And funnily enough, these aren't as tight. So if I was going to keep that navy top, I'd probably try another one because their quality control is not what it used to be. So, um, you know, things do vary. But it's jolly, isn't it? Lovely colours. Same, exactly the same design, so fixed. And, uh, yeah, I mean, all, you know, this looks nice with jeans or, um, as I say, white trousers or black trousers, whatever. I mean, it's very fun. The other one's much more classic, but this is very holiday, very hot day, I think, whereas the other one wouldn't need to be a hot day if that makes any sense at all. Um, I know what I mean. So, I, I, as well, this one is instantly recognisable. I will say that on the holiday, um, there was a particular Marks and Spencer swimsuit that I saw three people wearing um, on the cruise. And it was very um, instantly identifiable. I mean, I don't know kind of how you feel about that really. I don't like wearing the same as somebody else has got. And I did, in Bali, I did see somebody with my um, Primark beach blouse on, but I didn't worry there because there were so many people. But on the cruise, you are bumping into the same people all the time. So anyway, that's, um, what is that, number five? For, for anyway, it doesn't matter, does it? But uh, yeah, lovely, lovely if you're going abroad or, you know, a, a sunny day here animal print shirt speaks for itself really so this is pure cotton this is also 29.50 and um I, i'm so aware of the sun thing quoting me but you know it is what it is but this is marks and spencer pricing on primark quality it's a fairly thin cotton i wouldn't say it's a fine cotton it's a thin cotton nothing wrong with it perfectly okay but I don't think it's worth virtually 30 quid. It's not very long, so it's quite, you know, it's quite neat. It's not like an, it's not an oversized blouse, um, but I don't think it warrants that price tag. That's my opinion. So yeah, 29.50, pure cotton, quite nice, but really nothing to write home about. I mean, I think it looks better when you've kind of got the neck open like that than all buttoned up. But um, I certainly won't. This isn't even tempting me. So that's number whatever it is. But uh, so I've got the dresses to show you now. So this is a viscose elastane mix. And this was 29.50. And this is an 18 regular. Um, I... I don't know what you think, but this is described as a wrap dress. 
Now, I won't buy a wrap dress because with my boobs and I always find, you know, you tie them, but they're never the same length at the bottom and all that jazz. So I, I don't buy wrap dresses, but this is described as a wrap dress. But what it actually means, it's just got like the wrap over top, which is very, very flattering. So you really have to zoom in on the photograph to see if it is actually a wrap dress or just a, a mock wrap. So, you know, m &S, you need to sort your descriptions out because I wouldn't even normally look at a wrap dress. Anyway, it's um, $29.50, which I suppose is not a bad price. It's got these, these sleeves that are kind of not one thing or the other. They're not an angel sleeve, but they're not a fitted sleeve, but they're a good length. And it's a nice print blue pound of blue and black and white and um, it's quite clingy but I will show you nothing to write home about one way or the other quite a good kind of everyday sling it on work dress but um it is quite clingy so um you know for me that would Put me off buying it and if it's a summer dress you don't really want to put a slip on underneath do you but uh, i thought i'd show you because it's a it's a good price um but only if you're going to get the wear out of it it's nothing to write home about as they would say so um yeah so just one more thing to show you and i'll do that now final dress so this one is 100 percent cotton and this was 39.50 and I will say from the get-go, it's a really nice lightweight dress um, if you are in a hot situation, you know, as in the weather. Not as in a hot situation, that'd be nice. You worry about what the dress was like. <laughs> God, I'm off again. Um, it's a lovely kind of soft, almost sage green, but it's a lovely soft dress and it's kind of um, like seersucker. It's got a slight texture to it. Don't know if that's picking up in the camera. Of course, I've got black pants on, so I'm not sure if you can see those. Um, I know a lot of ladies don't like the tear dresses. I, I do like a tear dress, but, um, you know, this one isn't very voluminous, so it's not kind of over the top, if you know what I mean. I'll show you the full length. I got this in a long, because I, I prefer my dresses long. Um, but I think it looks really cool and fresh and it is very comfortable. The sleeves are great. Everything about it is, is great. No pockets, but you're not going to get that in that price point in M&S. So that's the, the last thing. So um, I'll wrap up and I hope you've enjoyed this haul in my haul. Um, and I'm hoping to relocate at some point down to the cabin so um we get a different um view and uh yeah that's it for me like i say i've got to i've got to go shopping and, and get the food in and keep myself busy so i hope you all have a lovely weekend and i will see you on tuesday at 8 30 gmt because that seems to be the time looking at when most of my people like my viewers are around that seems to be quite a good time for everybody um obviously not everybody because i really found that while i was away you know trying to contact people eight hours time difference is a big old difference isn't it trying to to work that out but anyway that's it from me um have a great day and i'll see you really soon thanks for watching bye